Hey, welcome back. Well, students at Oak Park Elementary School got a visit from Santa and his helpers today and a whole lot more. Yeah, thanks to the efforts of community sponsors, about 200 toys and 70 bikes were given to students. Our Brandon Schaff spoke with the man who organized everything and joins us here now with more. Brandon? Hey, good evening, Leslie and Mike. And here's a story to get everybody in the holiday spirit. This is not the first year that Martin de Los Santos has delivered hundreds of gifts to kids in need here in the Coastal Bend. And he says that it will not be his last, hoping to bring even more every year. Everybody thought, well, you guys are crazy. You guys work for a beer company. And I said, well, you know what? We want to be the first beer company that we want to do this, help the need kids, you know. Martin De Los Santos works for alcohol wholesaler LNF Distributors. He said the company is active in the community, helping him buy the hundreds of toys and dozens of bikes for students who may come from lower income households. Amy Garcia works with Santos and said she knows the impact these gifts can have. I was uh, that kid, so I know what that feels like. So to be able to do this for them um, and for them to have something to open and to take home with them, it's, 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 it's awesome. Case manager Desiree Cantu works with students in need through communities in schools at the Coastal Men. She asked teachers to pick five students who needed gifts the most so they could get them Wednesday. I know in working very close with the families, a lot of them are in need and it makes a world of difference in some cases. Oak Park Elementary School principal Federico Saki said he also benefited from toy donations when he was in fifth grade, saying that seeing the reactions from kids and parents really sticks with you. We mm -hmm. also get a lot of feedback from parents. The last yes. parent that was departing, she, she was very thankful and said, You've already made my daughter's Christmas, so it, that's what it's really about. Santo said it cost about $18,000 to pay for the toys and bikes for two schools this year. 70 bikes were raffled off to eligible students at Oak Park who were given a golden ticket by their teachers. To see these kids, you know, their smile, you know, and then when you see them on the street and they remember, hey, you're the one who gave me that toy at the school, you know, the parents are great, you know, and that's, that's the gift for me. And Santos said that it took seven sponsors to provide the toys and bikes to students. And he said that he hopes that he can get enough next year to provide as many as 400 for those kids. Leslie, Mike. Thanks, Brandon.